It's your boy Razor Ramon Nababa. And I'm back with another fragrance review. And this fragrance review coming from my boy Dwayne over there at DB's Sensation, Sense Sensation. And when I tell you this dude is coming with some heat, when I tell you this dude is coming with some fire, when I tell you this dude is coming with some with some some of that there, yeah, that real smell good. I'm telling you, he bringing it, he swinging it back. And before we get into all that, I just need y'all to take care of a little favor for your boy. Currently, at this video, I'm sitting at 188 of subscribers on the road to 200. And I need y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, do all that there. All that there. As you know, it helps um, my algorithm and it helps me pop up on your YouTube page. And let's keep it a bean, you know. We all do this, you know, because we love it. But ain't nothing wrong with a little supplement of income on the side. Um, as always, I thank you all for your support. Um, a link to my cash app will be linked in the description if you guys would like to support. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all for tuning in. So I got four fragrances that he sent to me. And um, these four fragrances, I love them all. I love them all. And um, we're going to get into the, uh, a slight little breakdown of them. Um, there are some blends, and one of them is a, 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 an original. Um, and I really think if you give um, these indie houses a chance, you can really come up on some hidden gems. You can come up on some things that you might like better than um, the actual houses that put forth these different fragrances, you know, the well, more, the more notable houses, um, if you get some of these impersonations or whatever the case may be, and their take on it or inspirations or inspired by fragrances, um, you might find out that you might like some of them. And, you know, quality um, don't have no name, man. So if somebody putting forth quality, quality fragrances, man, um, you owe it to yourself uh, as a fragrance connoisseur to give them a try. So we're gonna hop right into it. And the first one off the rip, off the bat, is none other than Southern Sunset. Southern Sunset. And um, when I tell you, man, this fragrance is um, it's very unique. It's very, very, very unique. I really don't even wanna waste no sprays, but I'm, I'm gonna get some bigger bottles. Anyway, I'm gonna support and, and get some big bottles. Yo, when I tell you this fragrance is unique in its own way, when I tell you this fragrance is special, believe me when I tell you, it's nothing else that smells like this fragrance. It's called Southern Sunset. And then this fragrance is uh, Whiskey for Elvis, Yellow Rose of Texas, Bergamot, Peach from Georgia, and Vanilla. And this fragrance, it smells like liquor. But not in the sense of you're gonna like a drunk, but it smells like it smells like it reminds you of alcohol. Um, but the uh, the peach the peach note in it is is very peachy. And I talked to him, man, and instead of using like um, a synthetic alcohol or something to substitute uh, for alcohol, <laughs> yeah, it smells like liquor because guess what? Yeah, real notes, real notes in this thing. Yeah, um, and which is a different take that um, most people probably wouldn't go. But I'm 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 happy he went that route because it gives this fragrance its own lane and it's add to its own um, authenticity, so to speak. But I really like this fragrance, man. I really like it a lot. The vanilla in this fragrance is is clutch too because um, just think about um, you know the rosiness and the bergamot and that peach sitting on a sweet bed of vanilla and how the vanilla kind of wraps all these fragrances in together and just hones it in and gives it that that little touch of sweetness that adds to its uniqueness. Um, like the rose in this fragrance, you pick up on the rose, but it's not like a real churchy rose. It's not like a real... Um, I say churchy because, you know, when I think about Rose, I think about the old lady sitting in front of the church. 
<laughs> you know, with all the rose perfume on and, you know, smelling up the whole church. But you owe it to yourself to get your hand on this Southern Sunset, man. It's a, it's a perfect name for it. Because when I think about it, man, I think of, I'm from the South, man. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And I just think about, you know, sitting on the porch, man, with a nice cold glass or whatever it is that I'm drinking, you know, um, beverage, you know, with a, with, a, with, some, with a hint of liquor in it, you know, chilling after a long, hard day at work, you know, and just, you know, relaxing and um, really just taking it all in, man. This is a wonderful fragrance, and that's Southern Sunset, Southern Sunset. Okay, the next one, um, make sure I all right, the next one is, and the artwork on this stuff is dope too, man. He got some dope artwork. The next one is The Gambler. The Gambler. <laughs> the Gambler. The artwork on this stuff is dope, man. The artwork on this stuff is dope. And, man, the um, this one is like a blend. This is a blend. It's, um, it's YSL Opium and Aventus. It's the first in a new line where I blended female and male frags and the line is my crossover line. So this is his own words. And when I tell you that he nailed it, yo, you can definitely pick up on the um, the Aventus and the YSL Opium, which is kind of um, the, 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 the sweetness to it, but that Aventus, that Aventus come behind it quickly, man. It gives it um, that, um, that man um, punch. Um, that gives it that over the top um, sensation. Like, man, this stuff smells great. This stuff smells great, man. Um, and this is, as you can see, uh, I had this thing for about a week, man, and it's like almost halfway, if you can pick up on it. It's like, it's like right there. Man, like this fragrance is amazing. This fragrance is amazing. Um, it's something that I feel like, you know, it, uh, first impressions, you know, date night, um, weddings, um, anything like that, man, you will want to pull the gambler out because um, it's, it's meant for that um, environment. Like I say, I wore to work, man, and, you know, I work in a barbershop, and um, one of my clients' hair, I was cutting, he was like, man, what you got on? And I was just like, man, um, this, um, this brother... Um, that make this um, these fragrances he sent me um, a few fragrances and I was like one is called the gambler I was like man this is it's dope he was like man it smell good I was like yeah man it's a, it's a home run so that is the gambler and it's a blend of YSL opium and the Ventus. Um the next one I have is greedy king greedy king and as you can see, I put a little dent in this too. <laughs> I put a little dent in this one as well. This one is Greedy King, man. And the Greedy King is a, his version of Montel Chocolate Greedy and a smoky version of Aventus. And when I tell you that you smell that chocolate, um, this smells like a, um, a, a, a smoky pineapple dipped in chocolate. <laughs> this, this smells good, man. This smells good. I, when I say I love each and every one of these fragrances, I really do. I really do. I really do, man. Um, they very unique in their own way. Um, this one right here is definitely a, a crowd pleaser because people love um, sweet fragrances, man. And the, um, the Aventus in this fragrance smooths it out. Um, so it's not real overbearingly sweet. Like you're not walking around smelling like a bakery. Uh, you know, uh, a chocolate chip cookie, but the chocolateness in it and the smokiness from the Aventus gives it a well-rounded um, blend to where even if you don't like um, sweet fragrances, you still might like this one because the Aventus um, DNA in this fragrance is strong enough to give it that manly aspect to where you like, well, I can pull this off because I'm not walking around smelling um, um like a, a a batch of cookie dough. And that is um, Greedy King. Greedy King. That is Greedy King. And the last but not least is Whorehouse. <laughs> yeah, Whorehouse. And um, this one right here, this one right here, is, uh, it smells good too. 
I think this one is a um, this one's a um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is a four. This is a five-way blend, and this is a uh, Marty Cole Ice Aventus Savage Coach Blue and John Paul Gaultier Ultra Mill. So I pick up on um the Savage. I pick up on all the notes, but the um the ones I pick up on the most is um Aventus Savage and that Ultra Mill, that Ultra Mall. Man, that and you can put Ultra Mall in anything, man, and, and that junk go, that junk go bang. So the Ultra Mall, as you know, is um is, is sweet, but you know the Savage has a sweetness to it as well, and the Aventus, you know, you got the smoky pineapple and so forth and so on. So when you blend these fragrances together, this is um to me this is a, you can wear this all four season, um but in the summertime you know adjust the sprays because this right here punt, this is right here is. Punty. Um, all these fragrances, I got um, seven hours, at least seven hours out of all these fragrances. Um, so the oil concentrate in these fragrances is quality. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, don't sleep on a company because you don't know the name or you don't know the person, man. Because at one point in time, Gucci, um, Dior, um, all these different companies that we hold high regard, Prada, these companies at one point in time, you know, they started off, you know, hustling. And now they built their brand up to where they're known world now. Um, who's to say, man, that um, DB's um, Sensation ain't the next Gucci, ain't the next Prada. Um, this is some good quality stuff. Um, each and every last one of these fragrances, I like, I like a lot. Uh, if I had to um, rate them, you know, uh, in order from um, ones I like the most um, to ones I, I like um, a little bit lesser than most, because <laughs> I like all of them, uh, man, I'm going to have to go with that Southern Sunset because it's, number one, it's um, unique and um, it's boozy and it's still sweet in the sense of um, enough to where it can be a crowd pleaser. Um, number two will have to be The Gambler. Um, number three will have to be um, um, Greedy King. Um, and number four will have to be Whorehouse. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, DB, for sending me these fragrances, man. I will be purchasing a uh, full presentation of each and every one of these bottles, man. Um, I'm going to link um, the description of his website. Um, in the description. Also, he has a Facebook page, um, a Facebook group for the fragrances. I'm gonna link that in the description as well, man. When I tell you, these four I have is a must have. If you love fragrances, if you're looking to try something different, if you if you if you tired of all the same mundane, you know, cookie cutter fragrances, man, try. Try DB Scent Sensation, man. It is a must because everybody's um, thought process and um, take on the way they smell the fragrance is different. I'm telling you, man, if you're looking for some new fragrances, if you're looking for something different, if you're looking for something um, a little bit jazzy and spicy to add to your collection, man, check out DB Scent Sensation, man. You will not be disappointed. These four fragrances that I have in my hand, I stand on it like a man. Ten toe dime. Real talk. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed, man. Um, as always, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, I thank you all for supporting. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, until next time, instant transmission. Shout out to my boy, man, Louis Sostolito, man, for putting me on the DB sensation. Appreciate you, Brody.